Hi everyone. So in this video, we are going to demonstrate the DNS zone transfer attack. And for this, we will be using our Kali Linux machine here. And in this Kali Linux machine, we have a tool that is known as DIG, D-I-G. So DIG stands for Domain Information Grouper. And uh, DIG is a tool which is used to get information about domain names and and there are there are of course other uses of dig as well but we will be using this dig tool to demonstrate this dns zone transfer attack so for that we have this kali linux machine here and in this kali linux machine we are going to launch this uh, our terminal window here and to maybe to make it better uh, or the, the visibility of this uh, screen i have maximized this and now for demonstration purpose, we will be using a site, a domain that is uh, zonetransfer.me. So you can go to this website that is zonetransfer.me and this zonetransfer, zonetransfer.me has been designed and someone has uh, made this device for the demonstration of zone transfer attack. And you can go through this website, this will, there, there I mean, a lot of information useful information which can help us further understand about zone transfer uh, but i have demo i mean i mean i have explained this uh, the concept of zone transfer in my previous video you can see the link in the description section but here to demonstrate uh, let's see we are using this uh, domain that is zone transfer.me and then we have this terminal window open and in this terminal window we will be using dig tool and as i mentioned the dig tool is used to get information about domain names so we can query this uh, uh, name server for any target domain so for example here we are we are saying that please give us the name server for zone transfer dot me domain so for that we can use let's say command that is uh, dig and ns name server for our domain that is zone transfer dot me and press enter and as a result of this command you can see we have this information maybe i need to, to run this command again just to send, just to, so that we can see the whole things here yes, this is already in my record and you can see here yes now this is more visible same command i i used it again and now you see here maybe we i'll show that what what is the interpretation of this because they have already on their website here all the details but for our interest you can see we have in this answer section it says that for this zone transfer.me domain we have these name servers so first name server is this and the second name server is this it means this is the name server which holds the record for this zone and now this further information maybe we can see on the website that this query time and what is the server and when this was transmitted or when this uh, request was sent so this all information we can find there now for us let's these, these are the name servers we found that for this domain these are the dns server and uh, now if we found these name servers then is this possible to get all the information from these name servers about this domain so for that we can get so if we are successful in getting the dns server information a zone transfer attack can be launched but if the zone transfer is enabled on those name servers so let's say on this name server because this these has been designed for learning purpose it means they have already enabled this zone transfer on their name servers and we can demonstrate that what this means and so this attack will give us all the host name that particular server is also this server might be resolving certain host names and those all records will be given to us and now for that uh, for that we will be using this command again this tool that is dig so now use dig keyword and then axfr and then we give the name of the name server so we can select any name server here let's say we are selecting this first one and we can copy and then maybe we going to paste it here so now we have pasted this name server we can see here so this is a name server for uh, this domain and now we are going to specify our domain name so zone transfer zone 
transfer dot me so now this zone transfer will give us this holds um, whatever dns entry about this if this if this name server holds so this will be shown to us and now if after this command if we press enter this will show us the result and in this result you can see here this result and you can see just a few results there you can see this is the subdomain zone transfer dot me here you can see zone transfer dot me zone transfer dot me it means that name server is showing us all the entries for this domain zone transfer dot me not others but zone transfer dot me domain all the subdomain for this domain are shown because that name server is resolving all these domain names and you can read their respective IP address is also shown here. So it means we have got the complete DNS record. And we mentioned that the DNS is actually a mapping or the translation of human readable name to IP addresses. So you can see these all human readable I, uh, names are being converted into IP address. And this record was in this uh, server, in this name server. And with the help of this D command, we could find all these uh, mapping or this dns record and now this dns record can be very much helpful in, in in designing an attack on any target because this thing can be used in the very first phase of pen testing or ethical hacking that is uh, information gathering phase in that information gathering phase we are collecting all the information about our uh, target so this can be helpful in pen testing or ethical hacking and yes this all video is recorded for only learning purpose and you are not expected expected to test it on any live system or any system without the permission of the target and now if you want to see further details at what these all things mean so only thing this here important is that you can see the zone transfer dot me zone and in this zone, whatever subdomains we have, whatever records were there in that uh, name server, we could get a copy of those records on our machine and these all records are here. And now if you want to see further details about all the records which we have found here, so we are going back to this name server because they have explained it further detail that what these all things means. So as a result of that command, this information which we get, this starts from the uh, SOA record. So SOA stands for start of authority. And here in this case, it says that this entry shows information about the primary name server, contact detail for the administrator, and other key information. This is how it breaks down. So this is the primary name server here, and this is the uh, name or the responsible responsible person for that. So let's see here. As a result of this uh, command, let's see here, go back in this window. So yes, you can see this information here. So this is starts with SOA and uh, now you can see this is the primary name server and this is the person responsible for that. And these different numbers whose explanation again, you can find here. You can see here all the things that these, this time is stamp and then retry time and the times, all the details is there on the website, which has, it has been designed to understand this uh, DNS zone transfer. So that's it. And uh, this was some demonstration of zone transfer. I have uh, given you the website where we have further details and some use of this dig tool that is domain information dropper tool. And you can practice it. And this is already available in Kali Linux machine. And there are some other uses of this dig tool as well. You can explore it like by using dig and uh, then you can just uh, get the help for this dig tool and this dig tool can give us further details and how we can use it so thank you thank you very much for your time and hopefully this video can give some initial information about uh, dns zone transfer and uh, hope to see you in some other video thank you